What's up guys, this is the Honest Outlaw here, and today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We are gonna cover the Mantis X Elite system. Now this is a dry fire and actual firing system that uh, helps you get better at shooting. Uh, I'm a classic dry fire guy. I literally just point at light sockets all day and night and wake up the wife, just click, click, click all day and night. That's how you get better. Dry fire is a great tool to get better because it's free. And not only is it free, but more importantly, you can do it anywhere. So you don't have to go to the range. I mean, I have a range of my house and it's even easier just to dry fire at night. You know, midnight, two in the morning, you have nothing to do. Get out of the basement, run some holster drills, run some uh, mag changes, things like that. And uh, I just never really got into the Mantis system. I've heard it's the best version of this system for a long time and I've had so many requests. I have so many friends. Uh, Will over the Daily Shooter, uh, B uh, Big Johnson. Lots of people have done reviews of this that I've been interested in. I just have not gotten around to review it until right now. So if you're not familiar with the Mantis system, this is it right here. Uh, the new X Elite system is actually a little bit better than the previous. Well, hopefully it would be, you know, or they wouldn't have released it. But uh, it's actually lighter, smaller. It's like 50% lighter and smaller. It has three times the battery life, and it has several other features as well uh, that made me interested enough to actually review it. It's got a QD system on it, which we'll show you here in filler. I don't want to pull it off right now because uh, it was actually a little bit more difficult to get on my OZ9. It's got a pick rail mount and it's got a uh, uh, Glock accessory rail mount and uh, make sure you use the right one, snug fit and all that. You pull down this lever here and you can pull it on or off. While with the OZ9 has that steel frame on it, uh, the uh, top of it makes it a little bit more tough to get on and off so I may have uh, really hammered it on there. So. This does a couple of things for you. Number one, we'll go into it here in a second, but you basically download the app on your phone, which is really easy to do. You set it up, uh, it's super quick. Uh, you charge this with a USB cable, and then you go through the uh, quick start instructions, which is essentially just turning this on, like you guys have an Xbox or something, all you do is, is uh, turn it on, it finds it, uh, Bluetooth connects to it, sets it up for you, and then you have to go through a series of uh, little shooting drills there. So. You could use it with your laptop, tablet, phone. I use it with my phone. And uh, just put your phone across the room, and then you can obviously check your dry fire progress and your accuracy. But the cool thing is, the new one actually uh, tracks uh, holster draws. So if you are uh, bowling up, or if you're uh, doing up higher and normal and bringing back down, uh, the data on the phone will actually show you all of that, which is pretty cool. It'll also give you tips as far as trigger control as well. So if you're running, uh, just for accuracy, like a lot of times I just go 10 yards across the room and uh, click start and then you have five rounds and you can just focus on that trigger control. When you're done, it'll tell you how you deviated, which direction, and what are the most common causes of that as well, which I think is really an invaluable tool if you, didn't, if you weren't armed with that knowledge already. More advanced shooters can still get advanced things out of it, especially the draw analysis. Uh, and a lot of the recoil, uh, the recoil uh, censoring system. So if you shoot this outside, which I actually haven't done yet, whether or not you're snapping right back onto form or whether or not you're moving a little right or a little left, and it can help you tighten your grip and really uh, knock down uh, those fast follow-up shots as well. The Manus is 250 bucks, and it comes in this little case right here with all this stuff that I didn't use. Uh, I'm not sure what that's for. It does come with a rifle mount as well, like a barrel clamp kind of thing. So if you don't have a pick rail, on your gun, you can attach it. That's kind of nice. Comes with extra screws uh, for the uh, accessory reel mount and all that stuff. And uh, ex it, you know, extra screws is always good. People always kind of snide at that, but if you use a product more than twice, you probably end up gonna mess up the screws at some point. So it's kind of nice to have those. Or lose them, uh, cough, cough. Or right, right. However, uh, the uh, QD system requires none of that. You can just pull it down and slide it on and off per pistol. When I start it, what I generally do is click all the way out of the app turn it back on, because sometimes it does have uh, connecting issues. It might be because I'm in a basement right now. And then you got the green light, and you. Uh, what I do is go to open training right here on my phone. Set the gun down to calibrate for some reason. Oh, it's because I put it on a different gun. Okay. And then you get to pick, obviously, live fire, dry fire, right-handed or left and mount it forward or backward for whatever reason. I don't know why you'd mount it backward, but you can choose to do that if you're a weirdo. So you press start and then walk back here. Kind of trip over stuff. And 
let's see what the Manus thinks of my dry firing. So you go in there, two little trigger finger. And that's because of the big old hands. It's always my problem. Uh, guns are generally not a big enough grip to set my trigger finger perfectly in place. So a lot of times I use the crook of my finger and I uh, move in and out a little bit, either one side or the other of the trigger. So good call on that Mantis. So then obviously you can go through as well and it'll give you even more of a detailed breakdown on uh, what you did and how to improve yourself. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we'll just set it over here next to the old Mantis box on this dirty thing here. And we'll just go through the uh, shot timer and we'll play around with some of the uh, features that come on it. So obviously you still pick whether you're dry fire and all that wonderful stuff. Just kind of lean it up here. You can kind of lean it up wherever you want. And I'm running this uh, T-Rex Arms Ragnarok holster because it's a light bearing holster for a Glock 17 and this OZ-9 with the Manus obviously fits in there. I think it's like a TLR-7A holster, something like that. So even that small, uh, I'm not really sure, it could be an X300 too. But if you have a light bearing holster, then you can run uh, draw practice as well. I'm not super familiar with this holster. This is my like tactical setup. Like if I'm gonna go airsoft or LARPing or something, I don't know. It's kind of like a shit hit the fan setup. But uh, I like it and I've ran it in one class, but I haven't run it in so long and it's a little bit further down than my uh, normal holster, but we'll have some fun playing around with it here. The point of the mantis start. is training, right? So that right. works. I'm really ready for that one. So I got a almost two second draw. Is that good or bad? It's not ideal. I usually draw in about a 0.8. Sorry for all the dust, by the way. We're uh, remodeling the uh, basement, so it looks like a, I don't know, it looks like Dune the movie or something. All right, so make sure we are ready to go. So trying to cock my gun out of the holster. We'll try this again. Six. That's not so bad. Still do a little bit better if I warm up a little bit. You can measure your grip and all that, and I was just kind of playing around through it, giving different looks and all kinds of stuff like that. But as you can see, uh, it just really depends on what you're up to, and it can tell you all kinds of data to help you shoot slightly better. Definitely good to have if you're not taking a class or training one-on-one -on -one with someone. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's it's so difficult. Like w when I shoot it's easier to collect data because I can see my draw. You know, yeah. I have to edit my videos so I can see it all the time. Most people can't see their draw, you know, so you can't tell if you're lining up straight, you can't tell if when you draw the gun. A lot of people when they draw the gun, they come up like this and there's a lot of wasted movement up and they come back down. A lot of people when they draw the gun, come up high and they gotta come back down. What you wanna do when you draw, is you wanna bring the gun out, just like this, just like you would put it away. It's like the best advice I ever got. That was from Ron Avery. I don't know if you guys ever heard him, but he's a pretty good shot. And obviously collapse the grip right here and ready to go. And just like you put the gun away is how you put the gun out. So obviously with this, you can kind of not only record data, but if you can actually film yourself, your draws and your uh, uh, reloads and things like that are gonna be much quicker. All right, for $250, I think it's a pretty good buy. If you do a lot of stuff inside, if you do a lot of dry fire practice, I would consider this more than worth the money. I mean, the way ammo cost is right now, honestly, $250 is a range trip for me. I mean, that's not even a joke. What is 250? That's like 200 rounds, something like that. So for 200 rounds and nine millimeter, that's not 45 or 556 or anything you can have a tool that can give you feedback. And feedback is very important. Unless you're a guy like me who shoots with people a lot or is on film a lot, something like that, uh, this thing really is invaluable. I have obviously done a lot of accuracy testing on this, which is predominantly what I use it for. A lot of times what I'll do is just put it across the house. I actually have my wife click it so I don't have to walk because I'm super lazy. I'll like put it right by her. And uh, she'll just click it and I can just do my little dry fire practice there and I can really, really work on that trigger control. And I think that is going to seriously enhance my uh, long range accuracy. I told you that I would show you the uh, quick detach, but, oh, I can get it off. There you go. So I put this on my Glock 34 earlier and it was significantly easier to get off. But as you can see right there, it is a very, very tiny piece of gear. I was surprised at how light it was and I was surprised at how small it was. It takes up a lot less space than even something like an Olight Valkyrie Mini or something like that. So overall, uh, I think it's hard to imagine a better uh, dry fire system in my opinion. 
I haven't used a ton of them, but I've used a couple of them and they were pretty cheesy. And this one actually works really well. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Please stop at your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.